All right, Tom Ease, thank you very much. That just about puts things into perspective. Everybody's doing a little scoreboard watching here, and that's bad news for the Penguins, that New York Ranger lead. My guest in the second intermission is Mr. Paul Martha, who is vice president and general counsel for the Pittsburgh Penguins hockey team. But don't let this fancy uh, suit and the tie fool you. He's also a former All-American football player, halfback at Pitt University, and a defensive back for the Steelers and the Denver Broncos. So what are you doing running a sports empire? Well, I think uh, I became a lawyer and uh, because of knowing the DeBartolo family and their interest in sports, uh, I got involved in professional sport. Well, we talked a lot in the first and second period about the poll here in Pittsburgh as to whether or not the Penguins should maybe join the Norris division and not stay in the Patrick any longer. How'd that poll turn out? Well, we pulled it last year, and the poll was in favor of us really moving to the Norris division. We did it again this year, Jim, and uh, the preponderance of our fans uh, feel that we should remain in the Patrick division. Speaking of last year, a lot of talk last year about the Penguins perhaps leaving Pittsburgh. I know you were instrumental in negotiations with the city and obtaining a lot of compromises. You're kind of like Perry Mason. You haven't lost a case. Well, we felt that uh, our franchise uh, had become somewhat like the arts, and we needed help in a market like Pittsburgh to, to keep the Penguins here. And uh, the DeBartolo family, uh, they wanted to remain in sports. Uh, they have a terrific investment here in Pittsburgh in professional sport, and because of them and their willingness to stay, we were able to work something out with the city, and uh, we're here. A very young but a good coach in Bob Berry, very effective, coach of the year according to some. Mary Lemieux, the franchise, but a very young team. You look out there and you see so many young faces. It's just a matter of waiting for them to mature? Well, I think that's a problem we're having tonight. Uh, the team was really uptight before the game, and uh, whether or not they came out prepared to play tonight, I really don't know, but... Uh, we're suffering right now from youth and inexperience when we get down to the, the race into the playoffs and, of course, to go into the playoffs themselves. I think uh, the youth factor has hurt us in the latter part of the season. Paul, I know you were very instrumental in campaigning for parity around the National Hockey League, and you look at the division races going on in the Patrick, certainly the Adams right now. Do you think we've obtained it? Uh, to some extent. I think one of the reasons uh, our, our request to move to the Norris Division was the the really lack of parity when it comes to making the playoffs. You have some teams like ourselves this year and uh, the Hartford Whalers that accumulate a number of points that if they were in another division, they would be in the playoffs. And the playoffs are very important uh, financially to a team in the National Hockey League. But the league as the league is getting to parity. I mean, every year we seem to improve a little bit. Uh, hopefully we'll get there fast enough. All right, speaking of parity, we've got some big races we're keeping track of. Speaking of watches, the stylish Laura Sports Watch to Paul. Loris, the official timepiece of ESPN. There's our score after two. We're tracking the other races going on, the Flyers and the Rangers, along with a lot other. So we'll be rejoining Tom Meese and SportsCenter after these messages. 